Hi everybody, Tom Guile at the Guile Group bringing you the 2021 Portland Real Estate Year in Review. There are some common themes in 2021 across the metro area, namely strong price appreciation, especially in the first half of the year, and historically low inventory. This table does a great job showing the differences of price appreciation, price trends, and other factors across the different submarkets. Overall, the average sales price in the metro area was $582,900 at the end of the year. This was down slightly from a high of $597,000 in June. Overall, prices remained relatively stable the last six months. Listings were up 4.9% over 2020, but sales topped the prior year by 10.5%, which drove the inventory down 44% from the prior year. We actually reached a historic low of 0.6 months worth of inventory at the end of the year, something we just have not seen before. Taking a look at some of the submarkets across the metro area, Beaverton's average sales price at year end was $519,000, an increase of 15%. While the overall price remained relatively stable after a large jump in the first half of the year, sales volume was relatively flat, with listings up only 1.3% and sales up 3.3%. Beaverton's year-end inventory was 0.3 months, some of the lowest in the metro area. Like Oswego's prices started out strong, dipped in middle of the year, and then have been on the rise ever since. The median sales price at the end of the year was $930,000, with the average price topping $1.2 million. This represents a 21% increase, some of the strongest price appreciation we've seen in the metro area. West Lynn's sales price of $670,000 is 14% higher than 2020, although the overall prices have been declining from a high of $730,000 in June. Sales topped 2020 by 13.6%, while listing activity was flat, resulting in a 51% drop in inventory. Tigard is one of the few markets that actually saw a reduction in sales in 2021. Sales were down 4%, but listings were down 5%, which resulted in a 56% reduction in inventory. Prices remained relatively stable after the initial jump with a median price of $572,500. Twelfth in our home market saw strong price appreciation on its flat sales volume. Prices were up 21%, although sales volume was only up 2%. Listings trailed 2020 by 5%. Southeast Portland saw price appreciation of 12% for the year, although the sales price has been stable since March after the initial jump. The median sales price in Southeast was $465,000 with 0.5 months worth of inventory at year end. Northeast Portland was somewhat of an outlier from the other areas. Overall, prices were up 14%, but have been showing steady decline since June. Northeast has also shown some of the strongest listing activity with an increase in new sales of 12.8% over 2020. Sales activity has remained relatively strong, with sold homes topping 2020 by 18.3%. Have questions about the real estate market or maybe your home? Contact us on social media, send us an email at or check out our YouTube channel. We'd love to hear from you.